Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video tutorial is going to show you the basics of adding materials to objects and then rendering the scene so that you can see what those materials look like on your objects. So it's a pretty straightforward process but it's just good to uh, look at these things and go over a couple of things. So I'm just going to start with my workspace and make things easier. I want to make sure I'm on 3D modeling. So if I'm on drafting and annotation, I'll have different tools up here that won't really help with what I'm trying to work on. So make sure you're in the 3D modeling workspace before you get going uh, with these uh, projects. So with that done, what I'm going to do is just have a quick look at my properties. And you'll see that it's got a material by layer. Color is blue by layer. It's on the block not that it is a block it's just a block layer so what I'm going to do is change my visual style from 2d wireframe that it is now to realistic and what this does is just a very rough rendering of the objects in the drawing screen so what it's done is it's taken this block and since its layer and color are blue it's just given it a generic global matte blue material. Now if I click on it and go to properties and change the color let's say to green and you'll see that now it's rendered it to a generic green color. So whatever color your objects are on with the layers or whatever uh, it'll just do a rough rendering by the color of that layer hopefully if you got all your layers set up and that's why I've always recommended along the way to make sure you use a lot of different layers in 3d so that you can easily see what objects are what and it's just a lot easier to work with so with that said we're gonna go into uh, materials and this is all part of the visualize toolbar and what you'll want is your materials browser so you can either click here or you can type in map browser open as it recommends there but what I've always used is RMAT and this works in just about probably every AutoCAD version I've worked with so I just type in RMAT and my material browser is already docked here on the side so I can just open it up and just let me get it on the screen here and you'll see that it's got couple of materials in there already birch I was using earlier I can right click and just go purge all unused to start fresh with my current uh, materials in this file so what I'm going to do is um, just close that for a second and I'm just going to pan this over I'm working with a small screen so that this fits on my website and uh, so here are my uh, materials again and AutoCAD comes with a long long list and you can also make your own I'll show you that in a later tutorial but let's just find um, let's say natural polished mahogany and if that's the material I need to use I just need to click on it drag it over to the object and let go and you'll see that what it's done is since I'm in a realistic uh, visual style is it's just gone ahead and done a rough rendering of what this material looks like on this object now I say rough because this doesn't look at all like what it should but to see what I need to do I'm just gonna type in render and what AutoCAD's gonna do is just make a new window open up and you'll see it only took three seconds to render this really simple drawing but now you can see it looks a lot more accurate and a lot more realistic than what AutoCAD does in the viewport here so the other thing I can do I can zoom in zoom out and then I can save this as well if I need to to a uh, ping or a JPEG or something but I'm not going to do that it's 
pretty straightforward stuff there. So I'm just going to close this. And you'll also see there's a render option here, render tools. And it, you can't see it, it's slightly off screen here, but there's just a small arrow that lets me open up the render preset manager. So now I can go into render in the window or a viewport, which is right in here, or render to a region of the viewport. Now normally I want to render into a window because then it will render behind the scenes and I can still work on my drawing while it's rendering. And since a rendering can take several hours or a day, depending on the complexity of your drawing, rendering it out to a separate window is really preferable. And if I go to a window I can go to different sizes and you'll see that you know you can go up or you can go to uh, custom settings as well. So for previews it depends on the complexity of your drawing and just how big you need to see some of the details in there. And also when you're done your final presentation image will also be dependent upon uh, these settings as well. So that's pretty much uh, how it works. If I go back into my material browser again, let me just drag this over here, and if I just go, say, uh, plywood, I can drag this over, and you'll see that it's gone and changed it. To a slightly different material and what you'll learn in uh, other uh, tutorials is just how to make these materials look the best they can on the objects and that's called uh, mapping so check out the later tutorials this is all in level 3 at mycadsite.com uh, this particular video is at lesson 3-9 on rendering so anyway visit mycadsite.com for a complete free AutoCAD course I've got over uh, 50 tutorials uh, tons of videos so uh, thanks for watching bye